The trafficking of Korean women by the Japanese military may be a chronic thorny issue, but experts say both Seoul and Tokyo are intent on improving relations at the upcoming bilateral summit. Kwon Jang-ho looks into what the two sides hope to gain from the talks. Japanese wartime sexual slavery has been controversial for decades. But when South Korean President Park Geun-hye and her Japanese counterpart, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, meet for a summit on Monday, Abe is likely to seek for results than let historical issues further drive a wedge. The Prime Minister on Wednesday said he was open to discuss such difficult issues. A major reason is that Japan is feeling pressure from the U.S. to improve bilateral ties with South Korea, to leverage against China's growing power in the region, and to effectively respond to North Korean provocations. One is, of course, uh, the relationship with uh, the NATO states and the Japanese government who wants the South Korean government to be a little more friendly uh, with this ally. Seoul, meanwhile, is expected to press on Tokyo's controversial security bills passed last month, which could allow the Japanese military to be deployed abroad. It's likely that President Park will clearly convey to Prime Minister Abe that Japan's military will not be able to step on South Korean soil without permission. During these globally challenging times, the economy is likely to be one area where both sides see eye to eye. Business must be invigorated. Uh, in whatever way it can. Of course, the uh, TPP, Trans-Pacific uh, Partnership Agreement, South Korea uh, may uh, like to join or may not like to join, but the uh, Japanese government wants South Korea to join it. With the TPP accounting for about 40 percent of global GDP, the summit is an opportunity for Seoul to secure support for joining the 12-nation trade pact. South Korea is looking to get on the good side of Japan over the TPP as their support would make it easier for Korea to join next year. Historical disputes may linger between the two nations, but both sides have pressing practical matters to address through the summit. Kwon Jang-ho, Arirang News.